Hey everybody. This look familiar to anybody else? You think it's about January, but today's March the 12th. And uh, we woke up to about three inches of big heavy wet snow, and it's still snowing. And it's stuck to all the trees and the power lines, and everything's got a big heavy coating of snow. The garden. It's beautiful, but we're ready for spring here. But hopefully this will be the last hoorah on the snow. And uh, we got some warmer weather coming up. So hopefully this will be it. And we'll be ready to see green grass again. So I just want to show you a little bit of uh, some of the snow today. Show you some of this good Kentucky beauty. Well, that could have been bad. There's a big dead ash tree right here. And uh, uh, a dead, little dead branch and some snow fell out of it. I've got two or three big dead ash trees right around the place here that's going to have to be cut. Because that ash borer, beetle, or whatever they call it, has killed every ash tree in this holler, I believe. This is going up the driveway, and down here is the bottom of the holler, the little creek that runs down, and joins in with the rest of the creek. This creek forks th uh, three or four times in this holler. And, uh, that little waterfall there is real pretty whenever the ice freezes on it. All right, here's a good shot of the snow for you. I'm out here in my pasture, right next to my little uh, water hole here. And it's got mush ice on it, it ain't froze. That's coming out of an old uh, hand dug coal bank. The front's caved in, but a lot of water still comes out. And I'm gonna show you looking out the holler, how beautiful it is here. Everything is white. That's just a little piece of God's handiwork right there. There's beauty in everything. You just got to find it. I'd say all this heavy wet snow, I'll have some fences down in here. I don't know if you can hear that train or not. That's a coal train blowing its whistle over in West Virginia. We got two or three inches at least. I don't know if we're going to get any more today, much or not. It's it's a little above freezing. It's still snowing a little, Dab. And uh, I think a lot of people's out of power right now. But you can tell all these pine trees 
They're just leaning over with all the wet snow hanging on them. I've heard a couple of limbs snap in some dead trees. So I'd say I'll have to patch some fences and cut some brush out of my roads later. And I was just uh, saying a couple videos ago how we had uh, green grass coming up and peas coming up out of the ground and lettuce up. And uh, now we've got snow. So that's just a uh, march in Kentucky for you. It might be sunshine, then it might snow, and then by the evening it might be raining. So if you don't like the weather in Kentucky, wait about an hour and it'll change. All right, here's a good example of how heavy some of this snow is. If you can see this little uh, sourwood tree right in front of my finger, <laughs> here's the top of it. It's always been a little crooked, but uh, it's sagged down about six or eight feet lower than it normally is. The top of it's usually up in here. So, got some heavy snow. Well, I just wanted to show you this little bit of snow. And uh, I'm going to, I'm out in the pasture now. You can see all this snow here behind me on these trees. And uh, if you got any snow last night, uh, comment down below and let us know what you got and where you're at. And uh, we appreciate everybody watching. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We really appreciate y'all. And uh, until the next one, this is Jared with Bloody Lake Homestead signing out. God bless y'all.